Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my ReactJS course. Up to now, we have seen how to perform the HTTP requests, both GET request, POST request, and also DELETE request. We have seen through Axios in the ReactJS. We have seen. Now we will try to see how we can add the interceptors in the ReactJS. So as usual, we have seen in the previous courses something like an Angular and View. How we have added the interceptors. In the same scenario, we will be adding the interceptors here also. We will be adding the interceptors. How we can add in the ReactJS? Let's try to see. So what is this interceptors actually? So interceptors, whenever we are making a request, or uh, whenever we are making a request, HTTP request to the backend server. So before making the request, if you want to do any action for every for every request in the application, if you are trying to do any action, so we will be using the interceptors concept. So in the same scenario, when we are trying to make the request, we can do some some actions or some logic. We can perform some logic, and we can send the request. And after getting the response from the server, so if you want to attach some data or if you want to attach some response data or anything means, so for every request instead of writing, for every, uh, for every, after getting the exit response, for every response if instead of writing, we can write the interceptor response also. So inter uh, by applying the interceptor response, here one, one place we will be writing, for every request if you are making, so we can, uh, this one will be performed and then the request will be applied and in the same scenario response also. So we can write the two things, interceptors request and also the interceptors response. So let's try to see. So in order to write the interceptors in the React.js, so we need to write it in the index.js. So here is the index.js. So this is the main root file, right? So here we need to write the interceptors. So let's write Axios. Okay, we need to import the Axios. So if you write the interceptors here, automatically wherever in the application you are using the inter, uh, Axios concept, so uh, uh, for all the for all the components this interceptor will be applied so wherever you are using this axios means so whenever the request we are trying to make in any of the component first this interceptor will be executed then after then afterwards the request will be executed okay so in index.js if you are writing means everywhere it will be useful so axios dot interceptors dot first we need to write the request okay so request dot use so this will take a request okay so you will get a request let's try to write the console.log request okay so now let's try to see the output so if you try to see the output here so if you try to see the output if i try to refresh this page and if you see then the console so we got we got some object data okay so this one is this one we got it from the index.js that is nothing but the interceptor we got the data and but we are not able to see any post data so why because so here what has happened is so where, where before making the request so the the logic the code execution will come to interceptors and it will try to execute the request and here so it has to get executed right now we need to return this request okay so if you want to modify if you want to modify the, the request you can modify whatever you want and you can send the request here okay so now then only if you send the request only then only the request will be sent and it will be got, it will be executed See, now you are able to see the data but here you will be able to see the object also. okay so this is the this is how we will be making the request in the same scenario you will be having the response also axios dot interceptors dot axios dot interceptors dot response dot use you can use the use concept here and i can write response so here i can write console dot log response so if I write console.log response, so let's try to see the output here. So if I try to see the output, so successfully what it will try to do is it will try to make the request. Okay, we try to make the request and we got the response also, but here the response it is not executing. See, so that means what has happened is we got the response and the response also has got printed where it got printed in the interceptors. So now Axios request has been sent, the response we got it. So first it will go to the here in the interceptor then only afterwards then it will go to the axios dot then then only it will return to the promise so here in the response what we need to do in the same scenario we need to return the response so here if you want to modify the response or if you want to rewrite the response or anything means you can change the response data here and you can return the response okay so here you can return the response all the time so we are using response dot data right you can also response dot data so therefore there will be no need to use that response dot data there okay so this is the axios interceptor response and axios interceptor request so before making a request this is the logic it will be executed before after after making the request so before getting the response so here the response code will be executed okay 
so if you want to so for normally when we will be using this this type of interceptors is for example when we are when, when the when when we are checking the login authentication thing so when we want to add the authorization headers and all those things so we will be using this interceptor so for every request we need to append the token id so for, for placing the token id we need we will be using this axios interceptor let's try to see i will show you for example if i want to add an authorization header something like that so i can use something like request dot headers dot channel name so whatever the name you want you can give it so here i will add leela web dev okay so this is the channel name so now for every request this header will be implemented with the key channel name and the value leela web dev now if you try to check the uh, output so here in the request address before it is not there right so if i try to refresh this one so now the the request it, it is trying to make a request okay here we got the uh, post data and the headers if you try to see here so here you will be able to see this channel name and leela web dev so that means we have for every request a request we are appending the header and we are sending so for every request it will be executed so for example if you are trying to add uh, uh, for example if i am um, trying to make this uh, get the single post details so for this one also it will be appended so for the request uh, the request header leela web dev is appended so for every request whether it is a get request or post request any request so the channel name will be appended so if you want to append it for only get or post means so you can take over this request and in the in this request you can take the type so you will be having the type so you will be having the method get or post so by by distinguishing between the method thing so method is equal is equal get only please you can append you can write a if condition like that okay so this is how we will be using the interceptors in the react js so this is one of the way of using the interceptors in the react js so axios so this is the global interceptors so if you want in another way also we can write the interceptors also let's try to see it in the next video okay so this is all about the interceptors concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you